Yeah, I mean, we just came through here. And it's already so overspawned again. This fowl's gonna go zap it. Oh. This one I saw is helpful to do this with two people at least because as you can see even with that incredible power Miss Divine has to help us out things get through and uh no that was my um you didn't record that did you? yeah I did alright All right, let's show Miss Divine's power oh that's right that was your rocket launcher Yeah, he's seizing a notice. Oh, she, she shoots like that giant, glowing, awesome light, whereas um, Selfie has a big, you know, fireball kind of effect. Now, where do I go? Uh, Left, I think. No, right? we go right. Of course. Yeah, because that just, we found out that that just goes. It loops around, but this is ultimately where we want to be. Holy shit. Sorry, folks. Yeah, it's usually me being like that. Alright, I can't see a thing. Oh. oh, Mantis. I took my helmet off. Uh -oh. I took my uh, night vision off. You're stepping on me. Well, wait a second, please. <laughs> Alright. Up this path. Uh, yep, we're already eating up again. I'm not. You're not? No, because I don't have that. Oh, armor. that's right. Armor I, on. I only have this tech armor with me because we were in a rush to get this done. Yeah, well, I had to go back to get something. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh, I thought my... Nice. You see that? Yeah. He snuck up on me, and I just gave him the rear hoof kick. 20, I like. 22k damage. Go ahead, snake. F around and find out. Is this even in the game, right? If I'm not mistaken. I hear something. Yeah, this, this is like a, a rock golem or something. Oh, I think that's I hear him. Did you see the rocks? Yeah. Yeah, that's. I think he's in the wall. It's a good place for him. Yeah, as long as he stays there. Alright, I think we're almost back to our teleport. Yep. And, uh, maybe we'll just fly out and go home in a long way, show people a little bit of the world we live in here. Yeah. Um, but we won't do the whole flight because it takes a while to get across the map uh, back yeah. to our base. So once we get out of the cave, we'll, uh, take off the. Night vision. Yeah, that's the first thing. Yep. And, uh, Cause it really, despite being kind of ugly, it's really not. Kind of pretty. Yeah. In a desert kind of way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to give anybody the impression it's uh, a green planet because it's not. No. And uh, you can take that night vision off just by toggling the the helmet visor. And, uh, I'm gonna... the helmet visor? What's that? Oh, the yeah, R. Yeah, the R key. And you tog toggle helmet visor. And now I'm putting my heat helmet back on. And we'll see if I can get him through here. I did. Oh, yeah, as you can see, it 
It's a hot, sizzling mess out here, folks. Full of dangerous things. I can't, I, for the life of me, as much as I try, babe, I can't pass up a piece of mac when I just can't. I know. I'm sorry. But look, there's a dead dinosaur. Oh, is that what you killed? Oh, then I wonder. I, you know what? Sometimes it's better not to go investigate. Because if something killed that, you know. There's plenty of scorpions around. Whoa. What was that? That was me. Oh, jeez, babe. Scorched a rock in a Thoris. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Knock, knock, what Oh, black gold. That's gonna kill us. It is Falabalbara. Indeed. Oh, the scorpion's running from me. Yeah, I wouldn't, I don't blame him. I'd run from me too. Oh, but she's beautiful. Oh, look at that. What? Knockwood is just popping up in front of me. Oh, jeez. Procedurally generated rocks for my Stargate program. Okay. So, if you can look over there on the other side of Mr. Divine, whom you can now see in broad daylight, which is really cool. Here. Well, uh, sorry, folks. Gotta build those Stargate parts. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a stunning creature. Oh, look, she's dancing. You're leveling her up. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, see. Isn't that cool? Some of the coolest things in the game are the little details like that that people put into the models. Um, it's just awesome. Awesome. All right, folks. If you can see, our headquarters is 5,700 meters um, in that di general direction. And we're down here on the map where it says me, and we need to go up to that, uh, that spot quite a ways out of there. And it's... Uh, it would take far too long to do if we rode the whole way or even flew. Look at so that. Pause and uh, pay, pay no attention to all those dinosaurs going berserk down there. But I mean, you're looking at a beautiful landscape, if not as barren and arid as you can imagine. But I mean, there's a lot of detail in this game. It's only going to get better because. Uh, the developers of this game are going to be upgrading all of this to the UE5 engine uh, very soon. And uh, it's just going to change everything. But scattered across the desert are some of these little oasis areas. Um, where, as you can see, dinos like to gather and, well, likes to do laps around me because she's a wise ass. While well, I'm trying to record, you know, cinematic video. If I'm cinematic. Yeah, you're cinematic, alright. But, um, yeah. This is what we've been investing some cycles and hours into at night, trying to relax. We just can't get enough. Loving every second of it. This is kind of an iconic little area. Um, it's a lot of strange rock formations here. I'm going to sprint fly so that we don't burn too much uh, energy. And a lot of people would might want to build here. 
um, because the access to the water is very important in one of these games because you do have to drink and eat. It is a survival game. And access to uh, liquid and, and, you know, it's life, right? Even in a game. But, as you can see, I'll just stop here and kind of pan back where you see Mantis Ruin Cave. Um, that's 4,000 meters away we've traveled and it's largely a lot like this. Um, ooh. Uh, electric Griffin. Uh, there's not a lot of change in the terrain or the The way that it's built, it's just desert, you know, with a few trees here and there. But it is beautiful. I mean, we've been playing on servers, uh, maps that have lush forests, swamps, oceans to go cruising on, and sea life, and things to explore underwater, and, and mountain biomes with snow creatures and. And we had to come here and kill three bosses. Ah, there's an Argentavis. He's all gray. Beautiful all birds. Gray? All gray? Well, he's white and gray. And he's messing with some Carnos. I don't think it's going to go well for the Carno, but you never know. No. But yeah, we're about a thousand meters away from the base. So I'm just going to burst fly over there and give you guys a quick aerial tour where we chose to live. Right underneath that obelisk. What was that? It was what? I just heard a loud noise. Maybe it was Archie yelling at me. Could have been. Archie's in the car and I was having a fur ball over there in the mountain. But, uh... Yeah. Bully Pack Gaming HQ is right over that rock cluster. Here in the scorched earth map. Second in our progression. We actually have another map called the Cabalis server, which we or the Cabalis map, which we absolutely adore and love, and that's our main base of operations. What we like to call home. But, uh, okay, don't mess. That's what you get. Kick in the head, bugs. And there's my greenhouse. Yep. This follows Grow Point, where all of our primary foods come from to keep our dinos happy and uh, the omnivores the, yep. the vegetarians the herbivores. Yep, the herbivores and the omnivores will eat it too yep. and we stargate over here because that's just fun and we can land on the roofs and use the ring gates and, uh, this is our and little babe what is that huge white thing over there. Oh, that would be our spirit rex, which we recently tamed. Um, you're not technically supposed to be able to do it, but we, you know, we have a little fun, because why not? And he's got 22.5 million health. Why do we do that? Because there are creatures out here that we're trying to fight that have 500 million health, and you're just not going to survive. So we use a guy like Skinny over here to uh, help us get those jobs done. And this is the overview, our landing deck and platform of the house. As you can see, it's surrounded by a tech shield, which allows us full access to this entire water point. Uh, who's booming over there? Somebody's dropping nukes. Oh, it's a Celestial Rex. Yeah. Another one? Yeah, he's a little above my pay grade. Yeah. 
especially on that. Yep, don't want to be losing my mount. To messing with that, we'll let him stay over there and goof around, and we'll come back with an RG and say hi. But as you see, we have a swimming pool. We have dinosaurs and plenty. This is a small uh, cross section of what we've got going on around here. Whoop! I'd say Allison's getting ready to go wreak havoc on Mr. Rex. This is my kill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where is he? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Spice. You're going the wrong way. Come this way. I don't way. know where he is. Turn around. to have these guys because those guys are out there and they won't uh, they won't play nice so we can't afford to either um, and it's a lot of fun it's just you know you have to be careful about what you're attacking all the time and Helps keep things interesting for us. So it's not at all a bad thing. Oh, look, it's Mothra. <laughs> yep, she actually called it Mothra. Gotta love Bala. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got in your inventory there, big guy. Well, a lot of seeds, that's expected. A bunch of. Oh, a couple more whips. Some recipes. These whips are really great for snatching the. Uh, Wyvern eggs. That's cool. Alright. Well, let's, uh, oh, do I have anything I don't need to carry? Probably. <laughs> SG1 will recognize that sound, I'm sure. I put glasses on Mothra. You're kidding, really? Really? I'll come look. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it matches her little tentacle thing. It does. It's cute, I like it. Well, how cool is Mothra? Mothra is this cool, folks. Look at this. And uh, when she gets upset, that happens. Drops Thanks, like a, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> it's like a stink bomb, right? It is. Pretty fast little flyer though, I mean, when you sprint flyer. Yeah. Very, very cool. I use her to go over to the greenhouse and back. She's like my little scooter. Yep. That's certainly a way to get over there. And uh, we can teleport over there with the standard game teleporters, or we can do this, ladies and gentlemen. 
which is my preferred way to get to the greenhouse. This will just never get tired for me. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, I know technically you wouldn't have a Stargate, multiple Stargates all on the same planet, connecting to each other and all that good stuff, and that's also very true, but come on. It's a game. This is how we like to play it. So, you know, that's nice. If everyone has their own way of playing. I agree. We have certain things that we like to do, and certain things we're not crazy about doing, so we don't do it. Yeah, that and all these games are full of so many bugs. You know, I, I get so fed up with fighting bugs, not the kind that, you know, the insects that we have around here. But just. Well, don't get Mothra upset. You know, you get just to the point where you're like. It's hard enough dealing with that and then dealing with crazy game mechanics that aren't all the way flushed out, right? So we don't invest our time in these games to play them to the point where we get so frustrated we want to quit. And that's a big part of this uh, dynamic, you know, for us. So that's why, you know, we use mods. We make the game... Uh, you know, enjoyable for us. And we play it the way we want to play. So. It's becoming Horus. From that Paramount franchise that will go un un unnamed. Because that's just, come on. That's too cool. And, uh, Yeah, it's about how we want to play. Um, there are servers, we invest our time, our energy, our money, and electricity. And uh, this is how it is. And, uh, yep, you can go play the official servers and sit there and get on Reddit and scream, you know, with everybody else about how bad, buggy, caustic, you know, that type of gameplay can be choose not to do that. Um, whoop, hungry, and I need some water. Alright. Oh, and yeah, in this game, folks, pooping is a mechanic. You absolutely have to poop, um, or you'll get sick. So you have to sit on a toilet once in a while, and that happens when you get up. Yeah. Did you just take a dump on the video? I did. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, uh, it's, you know, it's great. Because you actually use that uh, food to um, help your crops grow. It's, uh, again, you know, it's. Here in the greenhouse, as you can see, we get our plants growing in these little greenhouse beds, and they require regular fertilizer. And if you're doing it right, you get salva roots in this one, um, and they'll just keep growing. One of my favorites is the citronella, but there's some corn. No. You're not growing corn? That's long grass. Oh, long grass? There is no okay. corn. Yeah. Okay. Yep, makes like lemons, and it's then put into food recipes and uh, other things. So it, it's all, you know, it's like circle of life stuff. If you don't have that stuff, well, guess what? You're going to starve, and you can't keep animals fed. So. That's not what we're about. We want to keep playing and enjoying it. 
having fun. And we do. And this is our front yard. We have our own little private, private lake. We've got to get our beach chairs out here so we can come sit to go swimming, cool off. Good morning. Great way to spend the day. Especially when it's too hot outside or raining in the real world. We come here and get rained on. Or we have sandstorms and super heat storms and other crazy things going on. But I think what we'll do is end, end this video for now. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, after the uh, mission maintenance work. And uh, this is Val's kitchen, where she handles creating all the foods we eat. Um, the potions. The potions. To boost. Yeah. The uh, kibble to tame the animals. That's right. We need all those things in order to continue to function. We can make dyes to make our clothes less drab, which I think we're going to start doing soon. Yeah, we haven't gotten into that yet. No, no. And uh, I do a lot of the construction and things like bringing in the water. The piping. The piping, the electrical, the food prep and stuff is a jar and chore on its own. And then we have, you know, again, we've got a lot of things that just have to keep happening. Um, oh, it made ice water. Cool. Yep. Uh, and it's again, it's a team effort. We both do what we got to do to keep it all uh, reasonable. But like, I don't like to build, but I can build. You sure can. It's a difference. Yeah. So, um, you know, we just kind of do what we prefer, each of us, and they're very different. But the one thing we have in common is we love going out with our favorite dino and just slaughtering everything around. Because <laughs> that's how you get all your nutrients. We also like to tame new animals. And yeah. I go for pretty and powerful, and he goes for powerful and more powerful. So it's fun. It's a great combination the two of us playing this game anyway it is a good balance all right folks well if everything goes well we'll try to get one of these at least out a week um going forward and yes we will be getting back to star citizen at some point we just decided to take a, a hiatus from uh that at the moment because it's very issues going on there they need to get some help and attention and they will and then we'll be back doing what we love in that game as well but we're going to try to continue to have multiple different games uh, going on and maybe some Valheim down the road we haven't stopped loving that we just uh, how we live and where we live now bandwidth is a premium for us so we have to kind of be a little more cautious and we can play all these this particular game over the LAN. So we're not playing online on any official servers. These are all running. Their private servers are running right here out of our property. No internet required. But um, we'll be in touch. And we hope you're all doing well and staying safe. And uh, remember, like, subscribe, and come back and visit us soon. Ciao. Ciao.